Okay. Um, like she said, I'm Myrtle Boggs from Letcher County, and um, I'm going to have the students to actually do our presentation, and then at the end of it, if there's more technical questions, I'll help answer those uh, when we get to that point. Go ahead. With tougher regulations on coal mining, our community was left with many unemployed miners. Paying bills have become a hardship for many. We wondered what we could do to help reduce costs in our homes, community, and our schools. Since our community has a centralized river that flows through it, we started with the idea of using the river to produce energy. We created a model that would be able to, that would be affordable to build and cut the energy used in our homes. This would help lower our power bills. What else could we do? We realized that our laptops were something that we used every day. And we re they required a whole lot of energy, so we. And our answer was literally right over our heads the entire time. Here's how a solar energy system works. Photo oh, sorry. Photovoltaic PV cells convert sunlight to direct current DC electricity. The inverter converts DC into alternating current AC electricity. The electrical panel sends power to your lights and appliances. The utility meter measures the energy you draw and feed back to the grid. Earn credits, pay less. When your excess energy goes to the grid, your utility company uses you as a credit. In certain jurisdictions, I don't know what that word is. Jurisdictions. And that's how you start lowering energy bills. Those credits offset future consumption like the electric electricity you use at night. Get it savings from solar. If you're consuming more energy than your system is producing, your power will come from the grid. This is where those credits come in handy. The cost of power you use at night is offset by the clean energy you provided the grid during the day. Help power, help power the neighborhood. If you generate more solar energy than you are consuming, it gets fed back to the grid and distributed elsewhere. Think about it. Your solar energy could be helping power a school, hospital, or your next door neighbor. S solar panels convert the sun's energy into electricity. A control device changes this electricity, enabling it to power electrical systems. The electricity then passes through a breaker box to outlets in the building. Items such as a refrigerator and a lamp can be can be plugged into the outlets for power. Watts we will save, money we will save, bonus from di district, purchase more solar panels to increase savings for the future. In just one hour, enough sunlight hit, hits the earth's surface to, produ to produce the amount of energy that we use in one year. Will you join us in soaking up the sun? Discussion time. So as you could see there, uh, we decided to install solar panels to actually help reduce the cost of our uh, computers. Um, the energy that we will save uh, will actually, just for the computer cart, would be $600 in a school year, which is pretty good. But then we figured out, after we talked with our energy management uh, person in our district that we actually had a, have enough energy that we're producing from the solar panels that we can run our Mondo board off of it and so that's going to be a, an extra savings. So uh, we're hoping that with um, our we get paid from our district for saving energy. They give us a percentage of that uh, on our energy bill. So we're hoping to turn around and the energy that we're saving, use that money and purchase more solar panels and then eventually get to where, you know, we, we are using very little energy at our school, uh, which would help keep our school functioning and then would leave money for other things as time goes on because, you know, energy is a, uh, money is a big issue with, uh, in public school systems. So. Are there any questions about what we were doing? Yes, each each panel does 100 watts, and we actually ended up working um, with one of my 
former students from years ago had just opened up a solar energy place and so we actually were able to contact him and work with him and use you know a small business that was local to us and be able to use uh, his company and then they gave us a discount as well with that so so that was really good from from what we understand they they it should they're virtually you know indestructible but they're saying you know 10 to 20 years would be perfectly easy with you know to to use them that long in the case that we're using them so um, we it took some uh, investigating trying to figure out about whether to because I first thought run a solar panel into a battery have the battery to you know but we figured out that it actually was going to be a better situation to run it into our electrical system and and feed our meter basically and so um, you know we're hoping that you know we might could even you know produce more energy at some point than just our classroom actually make it where we're you know running more of the school off of the solar panels. We're, we are a really small school. We're a K-8 school with 125 kids. So we don't get a lot of extra money for anything. Uh, the money that they do send from the district uh, pays for the copier because the same size copier in every school costs the same amount of money. So, you know, we have to be really creative in what we do and we are project based in, uh, in our classroom. So uh, we don't carry notebooks around. We, you know, all of our students have online folders and notebooks and things like that. So it makes sense for us to uh, try to do something innovative with our technology that we're already using. Yes. How many solar panels were you using? Right now we've we've only got three is yeah and so then we're we're going to go up from that and and try to produce more and more as we go along. So, so are they up in series or parallel? Parallel is what and that's good questions because I made sure they explained all because I'm not a science teacher either so <laughs> uh, I, I'm language arts and social studies so so I was like yeah. so yes 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 and actually one of our maintenance workers for our school district was really helpful because he was doing solar at his house and then you, uh, we ended up uh, an online friend of mine in Pennsylvania her husband helped he called and helped a lot with trying to figure out configurations and different things so I've really had to step out there into something that I knew nothing about so for a non-science person that's good I think <laughs> yeah so yeah. any more questions okay thank you